today is a Sunday. I'm sitting here on the couch. I'm editing a video actually, which has probably gone up already. Um, and I just had a thought um, about the fact that tomorrow is Monday and the fact that I sometimes find myself dreading a lot that it's Monday. And also recently, what I've noticed a lot with people around me, with colleagues, with people that I'm friends with and just people in general that I talk to or come across is that a lot of people just complain about Mondays. They, you know, say like, oh no, it's Monday. I have to, you know, it's like, oh, we have to work again. It's Monday. You know, it's the beginning of the week. I just found myself thinking, wow, I never wanted to be the person who complains about Mondays and lives for the weekends. And now here I am, you know, doing the same thing that I said I will never do. Like, I know a lot of people working in tech or just generally, maybe people who see this will probably not like me saying this, but what I originally thought naively was that in tech, everyone loves what they do. Everyone goes to work and they are obsessed with their work. They hustle, hustle, hustle because they love it so much. And I think that definitely is the case for some people, for sure. But for the not most part, but for in a lot of cases, people still hate or not hate, but they dislike their work or they don't like to start working on a Monday and they'd rather be doing something else. And yeah, this is what fascinated me initially about tech is just how passionate everyone is and how really, you know, into it everyone is and how people just seem to be having a different attitude about life and work. And I really, really like that. And now I realize that I'm finding myself like in this place where I never thought I would, would be or I never wanted to be, which was, you know, complaining about the weekend, uh, complaining about the weekend, complaining about the, the fact that it's Monday. And I know that this is an incredibly privileged position to be in, to be complaining, you know, and also to be even having the choice that you don't have to complain. Because I know that a lot of a lot of jobs suck and for a lot of people they might not have a choice to go into a different job that they love doing at that at the particular time i mean there's always a choice right you can always make changes in your life but i know for some people it's harder than for others and i think for people here like in or at least in my position i am lucky that i could make it i can make a change you know i can do something about it but yeah, I just want to say generally, I think if you're in a position where you find yourself complaining about the fact that it's a Monday uh, or you go, you get to the Friday and you think, oh, amazing, I don't have to work for the next two days. It's the weekend. Wow. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with enjoying a weekend. Weekends are amazing, totally. But I feel like if we just live for the weekends, like, what are we even doing? You know, <laughs> like, what are we doing? So... <sighs> I know this is naive and I know this is nothing new, but it's just something that occurred to me and I just kind of, I don't like it. I don't like to be the person who complains. I have found myself doing this quite a lot recently and it's, it's not good. I need to change it. So I'm not going to do anything drastic. I'm not going to quit my job from one day to the next, of course. I'm also not going to like I don't know, pack up my life and, and live somewhere completely different. I think I'm not at that point. Um, and I do generally enjoy what I'm doing. But yeah, I, I feel like I'm also, I've become one of those people who oftentimes complains about the fact that it's Monday and it doesn't have to be that way. So yeah, this is just your reminder that if you're in, if you're in the camp of people who do this as well, to do think about it and maybe make a change maybe think about like what else you could be doing or yeah maybe you don't have to complain <laughs> anyway Monday. So after my little rant about Mondays, I thought I would show you what a Monday looks like and also how I'm making it more fun and 
yeah, just just a good day, you know, not a complaining kind of day because I don't want to complain. <laughs> So this morning I made sure to get some movement in, uh, not long because I was super tired this morning, I think I went to bed a bit late last night, but I did it 15 minutes and I already feel quite good and now I'm going to make a nice breakfast. And also, because it's Monday, we're adding a piece of chocolate to the porridge too. <laughs> So welcome to my little corner. A lot has changed since the last time you've seen it. It's now become a lot more artsy and creative. I have this like cool map on the wall, which my sister got me for Christmas. Um, but anyway, I think one of the keys to making Mondays more fun and making Mondays more exciting is to just be kind to yourself and ease into your day, you know, not be like, get up and go and go, 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 go start with all your meetings, like do everything you wanted to do this week. Um, I would say start easy, you know, be easy on yourself. And then it's just a lot more fun <laughs> than, you know, forcing yourself. So I think the key here is to be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself because you've just had a weekend and now you're getting back into work. And that way it's just more fun. Because if you, you know, force things onto yourself so early on in the week, then of course you're going to hate Mondays. <laughs> So yeah, that's what works for me, or that's how I'm doing it at least. And one of the ways I'm doing this is to not force myself to get up. I kind of allow myself a couple of minutes extra in bed. I also then had a workout. I had a nice shower, made myself a nice breakfast. And I opened my laptop a little bit later than I normally would. So I'm also making sure that my, my calendar is not packed with meetings today. I mean, of course, sometimes you can't control it, but you could set yourself some blockers to make sure no one sets you meetings. So do you have some quiet time to really think about the week, what you want to achieve and how you want to start it? So my morning meetings are complete. I just had two stand-ups, one with engineers and one with business people, where we just update each other on what's happening, what's blocking us, etc. And now I'm going to have some time to actually look into the topics that I have to work on, which is preparing some stuff for Q2, so like things that we will work on in the next quartile, um, and also then preparing some topics like creating tickets, um, figuring out requirements, um, aligning with people, like all that kind of stuff. So that will be my day to day. Um, and then also throughout this whole thing, we have quite a few bugs right now, which sucks. So there's some bugs on production, which need fixing. So I need to keep an eye out on that and make sure that people know what they're doing and uh, who's taking care of it. Um, yeah. And otherwise I'm just gonna make sure I also have some fun, take some breaks, all of that. Okay, and this is where the reality hits. My internet is not working. I just sat down to eat my breakfast, but now there's a bug which literally prevents a customer from buying stuff. So I have to look into that. And I have no idea why the internet's not working. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Mondays can also be like this. <laughs> Didn't plan for it like this, but anyway, that's, that's what we gotta do. Okay, the firefighting is done for now, so it's all good again, we fixed it. It's now nearly lunchtime already, and I need to still do a lot of things, um, but I'm also taking some time because I said I will, you know, ease into the work day and not go all stressed out so that I'm exhausted again already tomorrow. Um, and so what I'm doing is just putting some music on and doing like a more quiet task for a while um, until that's done and then I might have a break but I'm, I just had breakfast so I'll probably work until the afternoon and then, then have some lunch later on. Let's enjoy the sun. It is honestly beautiful. Um, take some breaths, deep breaths. I think that also helps. It's just sometimes... breathing in and out and acknowledging kind of the present moment where you are and not being so in your head and then then you can keep going. So 
are nearly the end of the day. I am now, I've basically just been sitting here or on the couch one time for an hour or so because I was tired. Um, and yeah, planning a lot of stuff for the next quartile, um, talking to some people and arguing, not arguing, but like kind of discussing things about why certain initiatives should be worked on or not, and that's going to continue tomorrow. Um, making sure that bugs get fixed and also reviewing those, uh, updating some stuff on the website uh, and a bunch of other things, like really small things. I also had an alignment with some engineers just then because they estimated something to take a month and I was a bit shocked because I thought it would take like two days. Um, turns out now it's fine. We clarified it. It's not going to take a month. Thank God. Um, and now I am pretty much done with the bulk of my work. Um, I thought I would dedicate some time now for reading because we have recently started a book club. <laughs> so we're going to work on some soft skills, like more leadership skills. And I'm reading a book about um, conflict management, which is, I feel like, a very underrated topic and very relevant in today's kind of time. And yeah, so we're discussing that and I need to read the chapter for until Wednesday. So I'm going to do that now and just kind of enjoy, let the rest of my Monday be a bit more smooth. Uh, I have to say though this Monday was quite good. I was not feeling like I wanted to complain all the time. I did want to scream at my computer a couple of times but that's normal as a product manager I think um, especially if you're working with a lot of stakeholders but um, most of the time I was quite content. I was listening to good music. I didn't have too many meetings. It was, it was quite a nice day and I also look forward to tomorrow. So I would say successful Monday and just to wrap up this kind of video, um, it is so important to yeah, help yourself to get excited about little things. So things like making good breakfast, listening to amazing music, dancing every now and then, standing up and stretching. Um, these are super basic things, but just taking the time to actually do them makes such a difference. And for me, it just made, yeah, I also today, for example, had a whole lunch break again, like for one hour, I didn't look at my laptop. Um, things like that just really help. Um, so yeah, I hope you also enjoy your Mondays. I hope you don't hate them. Please, if you do, make a change. Change something about the way you start your Mondays if you can or in the worst case, uh, change your job if you also can. Um, because we don't want to hate Mondays, right? We want to we wanna like Mondays. We want to enjoy our weeks and yeah. Um, anyway, that was, that was it. That was the rant. Some good Schneeregen.